Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we are going to talk about the 112 Glacial. At first, this video was supposed to be one where I tell you it's an underrated premium that you should try to get because it's obviously cheap when it comes, like, comes back sorry, into the shop and nobody really plays it. But after playing it a couple of times, it seems like Wargaming did something on the tank, or maybe I'm just really unlucky. But basically, I feel like the tank became totally useless. When you take a look at the statistics that the tank has to offer, you will soon find out that there are many, many things that are off. For example, the fact that the gun is literally average, if not one of the worst at tier 8. The gun dispersion sucks, the DPM sucks. The aim time sucks, your gun depression sucks, your average damage is average, and your average penetration is average as well. But the tank, at least in my head, was still relevant for the simple fact that Wargaming decided a couple of updates ago to increase its armor profile, which means that the weak spot that is supposed to be the lower part of the hull was not a weak spot anymore for at least, I'm gonna tell you, probably... 10 updates, at least 10. And now it seems like everyone can penetrate like you are a piece of butter. The only and sole purpose of that tank and having fun with that tank was to be able to fight with the armor you had. It seems like Wargaming just removed that armor. And the worst part is, as Wargaming increased the armor, at the same time they decreased the mobility of the tank. Logical, right? The more armor you have, the slower you will get. Well, nowadays you have something slow that can't even bounce. But you know what? Let's take a look at a replay. It's going to be easier for me to explain. I'm just worried about the actual state of the game and specifically the old premiums. I remembered a couple of premiums that could still be good on the battlefield. And nowadays it seems like if you do not buy the latest premium or the broken premium from the past, like the PNG, WZ121 GFT, the Karen of Action 10, etc, etc, you can't be relevant on the battlefield. I feel like it's not necessarily linked to Wargaming's actions, it's more of a geopolitical context. Since the merge with the Russian oh, no, server, no, no, no. I find it really, really more difficult to get a good game, to get wins, etc, etc. On top of that, I feel like Wargaming changed the matchmaking, uh, because they actually they actually told us that in this update they were going to make um, how, how do we call that um, matchmaking based on skill skill based matchmaking something like that I forgot the exact name of it but basically you will fall and play only against people of your same level and of course the old premiums will not be relevant at all if you don't play if you don't play them against new players or bad players because those tanks can be easily penetrated by someone that is already aware of the game mechanics because of course you do have a great armor with the 112 as long as nobody shoots with the gold shell when the enemies are shooting with gold shell you just become another regular tank maybe another another normal tank beside the fact that your gun sucks and your mobility sucks which makes you overall a bad tank so i don't really know what's happening right now just take a look at what we're doing uh, right now for example you see that when it comes to the gun if we don't get close to our opponents we are going to miss every single one of our shells which is extremely frustrating which also doesn't help the team at all because you do not uh, lower the full hit point the hit point pool, the hit pool, I don't know how we say this, of the enemies. So you create by your presence on the battlefield a disadvantage for your team. And even when you're a skilled player, it's going to be difficult. And I don't know, it just sucks out your envy to play the game. So I don't really know if this skill-based matchmaking is something they implemented seriously or if it was a joke. I feel like it was serious because since this update, every time I play, uh, if I do not really, really make sure to play the right position, always think about my next move, etc, etc, I can't win. I remember before this update, it was easy. Uh, literally, it was a yellow brain because I knew my positions, I knew my tank, I knew where to go, and it was rolling by itself, you know. Nowadays, it's more difficult. It's a choice for more gaming, in my opinion, a bad one, because doing this, you're going to lose all the new, the old and experienced 
players because obviously what is fun when you're an experienced player is destroying you uh, regardless of the game by the way like it's regardless of the game but uh, yeah wargaming wants to stop that why not i guess that this is in order for them to keep the attraction on the new player that will play against uh, bad players um, all the new players will play together and of course, when you do that, people will think, oh, the game's fun, I'm playing against people from my same level, so I can, you know, when you're playing with people of your same level, you are not getting obliterated, and cetera, et cetera, so it makes you want to play the game again and again and again. It's a marketing strategy, and I guess that this is Wargaming choice because they are, probably that they are hurt by the war, et cetera, which means that they have less uh, less money so they need to compete and in order to make people spend they want to create this matchmaking because being in the in the matchmaking where you play with only people of your same level will allow you after to uh, to to make them sell premiums because if you are having some fun in the game at one point you will have to spend some money uh, buying a premium in order to to keep going etc etc and i feel like this is what wargaming is focusing on because the more days are uh, passing the more experienced players are leaving the game it's only my interpretation but uh, out of probably a hundred of old and experienced player i used to see uh, connected uh, weekly daily uh, on the game i do not see them anymore and most of them that i speak to after told me that they left that's a shame but uh, that's how it is so in definitive it seems like this video is more about talking about the new matchmaking than anything else uh, but i think it's more interesting this way so i'm probably going to keep it that way and rename the video it's probably not necessarily going to be about the 112 but rather about the state of the game in general and another complaint video right i know you're getting bored of uh, out of them but i mean uh, w when things are going badly you need to you need to say it i guess Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and that you share my point of view on both the 112 and the current state of the game. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like and share. And don't hesitate to tell me in the comments how you would like to change things. Do you think that the new matchmaking currently implemented is a good one? Or do you think that they need to change something? I'll do another video on this uh, topic, maybe diving a little bit more into this uh, skill-based matchmaking in order for you to really understand, and specifically if you're a new player, if you really want to get involved into the game because in my opinion putting such a thing in a game like world of Tank blitz is definitely a pay to win cash grab but i will explain that further in another video waiting for it hopefully you get a good game a good day a good whatever and i'm gonna see you soon for a new video bye